So I believe Disney Plus is finally becoming available in a few territories today, so I thought this was the perfect time to go through the giant library of films and give you guys five movies to watch right now. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking five live-action movies on Disney Plus that you all can watch right now. This is part of a three-part series. I'm giving you guys this video where we're talking live-action, a video where we're talking animated movies, and then I'll be ranking the five original movies on Disney Plus that have been distributed from that platform. Uh, but first, we're doing this one. Be sure to stay tuned, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to this channel for the others. And if you like this kind of video and you want to see it expanded, you want to see more, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. But I didn't want to give you guys movies that you know we can obviously talk about, right? They have big giant subsections within the platform saying Marvel and Star Wars and Pixar. We know what these movies are and we know what these movies have to offer. So I thought we would dig a tiny bit deeper. Now, you have probably heard of all of these films, but you may not know they're sitting there on Disney Plus ready to be watched right now. And they're not the best movies we've ever seen, but some of them are fun, some of them are heartfelt, and some of them are just worth going back for a rewatch. So if you're asking Austin, why didn't you mention Frozen 2? It's like on the banner. So, movie number one, we're going all the way back to the 1950s. Oh yes, that's right, we're talking old Yeller. Now for you young kids, I include myself in that, uh, this is a film that I think everyone should just take a second, take a breath, revisit or visit for the first time and appreciate the heartfelt nature of this film, right? It may not hold up in all aspects, but it's just a really sweet movie about a teenage boy who grows to love this yellow stray dog. He starts out thinking it's a good-for-nothing mutt, uh, but Old Yeller is soon to be beloved by all. And if you love a good dog movie, if you love a good heartfelt film, now today... Pretty often we get dog movies and it feels like they're a dime a dozen. They don't necessarily hit me in the ways that they intend most of the time. When we do my Disney Plus Originals video, we'll be talking about a good dog movie in a movie called Togo. But Old Yeller is really what started it all and that's kind of the standard of the sweetheart felt dog film. So if you guys have any time on your hands and you want to go watch a classic film to some, maybe not to everyone, Go watch Old Yeller. Next up, we have a double dose of sports movies coming at you. So if you don't like sports films, you can probably skip the next two movies we're talking about. But the first one is a movie called Miracle starring Kurt Russell. You guys know the story. It's the 1980s U.S. Olympic hockey team that uh, had probably one of the biggest victories in sports history with the all-time famous call. I mean, so many elements of this story uh, that would and should make for a perfect movie. And this isn't a perfect film, but it's a really good and inspiring sports movie. It's a motivational sports movie. You watch it, you feel empowered, you feel like you can do anything. And by the way, uh, guess who directed Miracle? Gavin O'Connor. Now, when I talk Gavin O'Connor nowadays, we're always talking about The Accountant, we're always talking about Warrior, but this is the one that has started it all. And I always forget, and it's my fault, that Gavin O'Connor directed Miracle, and I believe that was his first film. So, the guy is one of my favorite directors working right now. Why not mention the movie Miracle? It's an iconic story. It may not be an iconic film, but it's one worth visiting if you haven't already. The next movie is Glory Road. And Glory Road is just one of those sports movies that I go back to, even though, I mean, I live in Kentucky. I'm a Kentucky fan, and this movie is all about a team that went up against Kentucky and beat them in the national championship. Uh, so I, I should be the one to sit back and go, wait a second, but you look at what it means, what it meant for the sport, and everything that went into this journey, that went into, well, heck, went into making this movie, it's a well-directed film. It's another inspiring sports story, and to be the first all-black starting lineup for a college basketball team to win the NCAA championship is fantastic, man. It's a story about Texas Western. It's one that will, uh, it will break your heart, and at the same time, it will inspire you, and that's what I love about a good sports story. You see that in Miracle, you see that in Glory Road, it's nothing new, right? And these aren't movies, and Glory Road's not a movie that I go back to all that often and I talk about to everyone, but if you're talking great, really entertaining sports movies, motivational sports movies, 
Glory Road is one that I think is worth visiting. Uh, and if you're a fan, obviously, you're going to want to go visit it again because it's just one of those films. Next up is a movie that I grew up with. I was born in 1995. A movie called Holes came out in 2003, starring Shia LaBeouf or Shia LaBeouf, uh, an actor. And I mean that in the most serious of ways because this guy, especially last year, Peanut Butter Falcon, Honey Boy, the guy can act, okay? He's a great actor. But this is back uh, during his television days, you know, how he had a huge following, a group of kids who looked up to him as this child actor. But this is really when he started to break free from that. And Holes is a solid movie. Yeah, it's quirky. It's got the Disney antics. You could even compare it to the Disney Channel original movies at times, but it, there's a layer beneath that. It goes deeper than those films, right? Than what you would expect from the quirky nature of it. And a lot of it leads to the way that they tell this story, which is unconventional, um, but it really works for what they're going for. So Holes is a genuinely good movie. And it's all about a wrongfully convicted boy who is sent to a brutal desert. Uh, it's a detention camp where he joins the job of digging holes for some mysterious reason. Now, what is this reason? You would love to find... I mean, there's so many quotable uh, elements to this film. And you've got a great cast. John Voight, Sigourney Weaver, Shia LaBeouf. Are you kidding me? It's a great cast for one of these Disney Channel original films. So Holes is the one movie I go back to and I just, um, I have a lot of fun with. It's not great, but I grew up with it. Next up, I'm cheating. I could actually go three or four different movies here, but we're going to focus on two. We're talking Muppets, okay? But we're talking OG Muppets. Uh, but OG Muppets that are going on their own ventures. We have uh, the Muppet Christmas Carol, which is basically their version of the Christmas Carol that we know and love. And <laughs> watching this as a kid, man, it's just one of those films that just, it sticks with you. Now, I haven't seen both of these movies in a while, so I could go back and be like, this is ridiculous, but you love Kermit, you love the cast of these films, and let's get into Muppet Treasure Island, Tim Curry, uh, Bill Connolly, this cast is ridiculous. Muppet Treasure Island is a twist on a different classic tale, but... It is oh so entertaining, and I may actually prefer both of these movies, eh, maybe not A Christmas Carol, but over the original stories, possibly. I need to go revisit them, because these are two movies that I grew up with. Treasure Island came out in 1996, so I, what, I was one year old at the time. Didn't get to see this in the theater or anything, but I didn't grow up with it on VHS, and it was just, it was my movie, man. Uh, Treasure Island especially, but all of them. The original Muppets movie. I even like the one that came out, I believe, in 2011. Didn't see the sequel, but Muppets, man. You're on Disney. You see Pixar, you see Disney, you see the OGs, the classics. And we'll talk about animated films in my other video. Uh, but Muppets. Go wherever you can find them and watch all of these older films. It's worth it. They may not be the most well-constructed movies you've ever seen, but they're fun. And that's what the Muppets are all about. So, six movies, technically, uh, but Muppets are Muppets. So, those were five options for you guys to find on Disney Plus that aren't at the forefront of everything. You, you've got the really obvious ones, you've got the headliners, you've got the big blockbusters, but these are five movies that you may have to do a bit of digging to find. And if you guys like this particular video, maybe we could get into genres next time. We're going to do animated movies. Maybe we could do comedies, action, adventure, uh, Disney Channel original, Smart House. I mean, we could always talk about Smart House. These are films that I would love to talk about if you guys would like to see more. So let me know. Comment all your thoughts. Appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, and we'll be back very soon with another one of these and maybe some more Netflix videos as well.